Do you have an old ADSL modem or Wi-Fi router lying around and are thinking to yourself, what could I do with it? Well, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert that old router into an access point and improve the Wi-Fi coverage of your home. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashant and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here at Tech Scene ZA and you're interested in tech and awesome tech related projects and videos, you can start by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. So all you're going to need to complete this task is a laptop or your computer, the old ADSL modem or router, and an ethernet cable. So let's get started. So now that we have everything set up, the first thing to do is connect to our modem or router. So how do we connect to the modem or router? We need to connect to the home page. So the home page is if we hop over to our Internet Explorer, um, uh, our web browser, we need to insert the web address for the for the router's home page. So where can this be found? It, you can look underneath the router and it can be found there. It'll tell you home page or, or something like that. It should normally begin with 192.168.1.1. But if you can't find it, you can also Google it. Uh, Google the model number of your router and it'll come up with an answer for you. Okay, so my default address is 192.168.1.1. Right? I'm going to go enter. And we're connecting to it. Six and a half hours later. So this modem has actually been reset to factory default. So the username is going to be admin, admin, and the password will also normally be admin. Let's try that. And we have logged in. So never save that password. Right, so now that we've logged in to our router, the first thing to be done, we need to turn off the DHCP. DHCP is Dynamic Host Control Protocol. So what this is, it is the service or the server that issues IP addresses, internet protocol addresses which allow the computer to connect to the internet and to connect to other computers. So the reason why we, we are turning it off, right? So here we have DHCP server. We're going to be disabling it. And the reason that we're doing that is because our main router or modem, which is receiving the internet, be it fiber or ADSL, that modem or router is going to be issuing IP addresses and we can't have two we can't have two people giving p we can't have two things giving it names per se so uh, your IP address is basically a name so that other computers know it so we, we can't have two people giving each other name we can only have one so that's why we're turning this DHCP server off right that's the first thing to be done so let's go ahead and hit save settings. All right, this, this um, router required me to change this data encapsulation thing, but that's the, most routers won't ask you to do that. So let's go ahead and hit save. Save settings. Not telling me my settings have been saved or not, but I, I assume it's saved. So the next thing to be done, so we've switched off the DHCP server. Okay, so there we go. Now we know that our settings have been saved. The next thing to be done is change our, uh, our Wi-Fi name or our wireless name. So that's the name this modem or router is going to be broadcasting. So what you can do, you can actually keep it the same name as your main router or you could set it to another name. So say in your home, you could have one, so you could have two 
labeled okay so say we we here in the uh, in our studio so we could have two that's called tech scene za or we could have tech scene za studio and tech scene za home or something like that to tell you the two different locations that it's in and so that uh, your devices won't be struggling so say it's so far apart and you're standing say it's a little towards my left hand side but it's trying to connect to the right hand side So that's why you could name it differently or you could name it the same and create a giant mesh network so it would be interchanging between the the access points. All right, so as I said, change the network name. So my home network is called Silver Fox all caps. All right? Silver Fox and I'm not going to change anything else and I'm going to hit save settings again. Let's just wait for that to save. Eventually. And after this is done, you basically complete because you've turned off the DHCP server and you're allowing your main router or modem to issue IP addresses and then you've also changed the Wi-Fi name. So the one part I did forget to mention is that you would have to change the ethernet uh, or the local ip address of your new access point and it would need to match an ip address within the range of your current router or modem so my router and modem upstairs is on the range 10.0.0.1 upward it's on the 10.0.0 range All right and this ip address as as you saw the ip address that we inputted into the browser is 192.168.1.1 and we're going to change this ip address to 10.0.0.2 because 10.0.0.1 is the main router and now 10.0.0.2 is the new access point and this reserves a static ip address so it's not changing All right let's go ahead and click save and that's the final okay so it gives us a warning here and it's going to lose this web page and we're going to have to reconnect with 10.0.0.2 in our browser All right so let's go ahead we we'll leave that open and we we'll go 10.0.0.2 that's not working continue 10.0.0.2 sign in oh a d m i n tab a d m i n sign in and there we go so for this to work correctly we need to connect this router to our main router to allow the data to be transferred between them All right and that's the final thing to be done that's it so one added bonus of this access point is the extra ports on your router now become ports available for devices to connect via an ethernet cable so a faster cabled signal and that brings us to the end so a reminder guys that Texin ZD is in search of sponsors so if you do know anyone who'd be willing to loan us a device for review or possibly sponsor an episode of Tech Scene Zeri a business email address is linked in the description below Tech Scene Zeri is open to video ideas and suggestions so in the comments of today's video you could let us know if you do have any video ideas and suggestions for us and we'd be definitely following through with them if you've enjoyed this video you could let me know by giving it a thumbs up if you did and getting subscribed if you aren't subscribed already turning on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you same time, same place next week.